If you look over there in the middle of the field where that where the truck is backing up, that's where we shot most of the fight scenes for the two days. I think we yeah, I think it was it was two days, about two days we shot the fight scenes here with Jet. And then um, we, we pretty much used this whole field. And then um, over there is where where the gang hideout was, where we were spray painting. So this is a real famous place in LA, and now they're destroying it. And that's where we uh, set the house on fire. I started training in martial arts when I was 12. Um, and, uh, you know, my mother couldn't afford, you know, lessons from one school. So each time, you know, it was my birthday, my mom would give me money for introductory lessons. So, you know, uh, each time it got more, you know, I got more advanced and I would also, in between those, my birthdays, I would seek out people who knew stuff. You know, even if they were, you know, white belts themselves, they would, would train with them and I would just learn. And, um, you know, I think after my second or third birthday, you know, I was way, way beyond those beginner classes. And then, you know, I would pick different schools and I learned different systems. You know, that gave me a, a, varied, a varied background. And then what happened was uh, at age 24, I tore my groin muscle. So I retired. I retired from competition and I got into stand-up comedy. Then I moved out to L.A. to do stand-up. And then uh, I met Roberta Chow. And she asked me if I would do this movie. Who's now Roberta Chin? Uh, she asked me if I would do this movie. And and at the time, I was uh, I was seeing a chiropractor who was putting my leg back together without surgery. And he was telling me, you know, you should go back. You should go back and do this. And I was like, thinking, you know, I don't know. I'm a stand-up comic now. I'm not a martial artist anymore. And then, as I got healthier and healthier, I realized that this was what I was supposed to do. And then. Once I remember the day he said, all right, you're healthy now. You can start going back and training 100%. Uh, two weeks later, I got the part, and it was, if that's not Kismet, I don't know what is. <laughs> you sons of bitches. You want to stay? You got paid. Oh, man. We already gave you the blood money, Holmes. Yeah, we paid everything, man. How about when we go to People Street for all the Vietnam sick on the jobs? Holmes. How about when we go to the Chinese restaurants and they won't even give us a dishwashing job? You gotta give us a break, Holmes. They kick us out of every neighborhood. I realize now looking back that it was Jet's first movie uh, outside of the People's Republic of China. He did those three movies. Um, and then this, this was, I think this was his fourth. Uh, and then along with Dragon Fight. And I can't remember which one was first, but what happened was um, I remember, I, I, I learned that, um, that the, the studio was taking a big gamble on him. You know, it's like, can this martial artist act? You know, and you know, and that, that he had a learning curve as much as I did too, because I had to learn how to take a shot and all these things without, you know, and make it make him look good, because that was my job as a stuntman. In the beginning, it was kind of uh, tense, because what what happened was I asked Roberta if I could get him to sign this book, the Shaolin Temple book, and uh, that had that was had him on it that he was a star of, and what happened was. She said, yeah, bring it, please bring it. And she called me the night before, are you going to bring it? Don't forget to bring it. So, so I brought it and I said, I'm going to, you know, she says, you know, did you bring it? I said, yeah. And she says, well, make them, you know, get them to sign it. I said, no, I'll wait till the shoot's over. He goes, no, no, get them to sign it now. I'm like going, okay, what's going on? You know, so I gave it to him. I go, could you sign it? And he looked at me and he, he had this look on his face like he was shocked that I knew who he was. And I said, yeah, man, you're a badass, I, you know, you're awesome. And, and he kind of, okay, and he, and he signed it and he gave it to me. And then some of the cast and crew members looked at it and they were going, oh my God, there was a, in that book, there's a picture of, of Nick's, him uh, doing wushu, like I think he was like five years old on the White House lawn. And they're looking at it, I was like, oh my God, you know, and I guess the crew, I realized the crew, since it was an American crew, they thought, ah, you know, he's just this, you know, some, some, you know, some, kung fu guy from China you know no big deal I mean this is before Jackie made it hot here too nobody knew who any of these guys were the only person they knew was Bruce Lee you know so this was what in 80 88 I think so yeah and then once once that the book circulated throughout the whole crew and they're like going oh my god oh my god you're this great guy you're this great guy I mean you know Jet started feeling good about you know started feeling more comfortable because people just didn't didn't respect you know not respect they just kind of like ah yes 
You know, all you Asians know Kung Fu. <laughs> What was it like working with Jet? It was an honor. It was an honor and a pleasure first. And then um, it, was, it was really interesting because, you know, um, the guy hits hard, <laughs> very hard. Uh, I've never been hit that hard before in my life. Um, I remember there was this one fight scene that wasn't, that wasn't in the film where I think uh, I, I take a bat or something and I, and I go, go at his, go try to sweep his legs out. And he does a full twisting butterfly and he lays it on the side, lays it on my head. And I took the shot and, uh, and it laid me out. My whole left side just went numb. And I thought, all right, this is the end of my life right now. I'm now a paraplegic, I cannot move. And, you know, I just like, you know, and we had to shoot it again because, uh, you know, I think somebody wasn't on time or, or something like that. And I was like, one more time, oh my God, I don't know if I can last. <laughs> and uh, it, was, it was hard. And then um, what happened was, you know, uh, there's another time where, where, uh, where I had to give Jed a shot. I had to throw a round kick at him. And, and, they, and I said, How, do you want me to pull it? And the director said, no, no, full, full speed, hard. I was like, I used to lay people out with these kicks. That's, that's, no, that's, and Jet was, you know, he was smaller than me. And I was like going, and Jet was like, yeah, yeah, do it hard. I was like, okay, you know, and then, I, you know, it came, wham, I hit him and he fell down and then he didn't get up. I was like, oh no. and. And then Jack comes at me and he goes, you killed my star. You got, I was like, oh God, oh God. And then he got up, Jet gave me thumbs up. He just like nodded. I was like, okay. And he goes, don't hit me that hard next time. So I was like, okay, all right. But, you know, but then he nailed me. And then when it came his turn, you know, he gave me, you know, that full twisting butterfly. And, oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> this for you, Chinese cook. <laughs> Jet hits really hard, and he also broke his arm during the filming. So, the opening scene the, where where I'm the first guy to attack, when I wasn't wearing the cap, um, he broke my arm. And I remember we were rehearsing it because I went one, two. The first first time I I, I was like, okay, what's going to happen is, he he we just rehearsed and I was like, okay, he's just going to go like this. And I was like, going okay, and I was thinking, okay. He didn't, he didn't twist when he, when he blocked. I was like, okay, that's going to be cool. Because he, he, he blocked with this cast. So like, okay, and when, when Treyarch yelled action, and I threw it, and, and, he, and when, he, when I made contact, he twisted with that cast, and I went, oh, God! And the second time, oh, my God, it was like, this is like taking a rock and just slamming up against my hand. <laughs> I remember when I saw him in Shaolin Temple, I was like, ah, nobody can move that fast. Nobody can be that good. And then I remember in the first, one of the first fight scenes we shot, I was the first couple guys to get killed. And then he'd move on to the, to the next guy. And I fell down and I had one eye open and I'd watch and I just couldn't believe what I saw. And I was started trying not to laugh. And I was just like, I was like, here dead. And I was like, Oh my God! And then Charlie comes in. Cut! 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 Do dead people go? Oh my God! You know, no, you're supposed to act dead. You know. And then Jet looked at me, and, and I told him, I said, Hey, I'm sorry, man. I just couldn't believe what I just saw with my own eyes. And he just, he's like, Okay, that's cool. That's cool. <laughs> so he was. It was. It, he is as good and as fast as what you saw on screen. It's just like incredible. <laughs> How the fights were arranged was uh, there was a there was a main fight choreographer, and I found out it was Brandy Yoon from the Yoon clan, um, and he had a group of stuntmen. And uh, what happened was each fighter in that in that in that one fight sequence, we had our own stunt guy, and he would show us. They would take us through you know stunt you know reaction 
reaction hit hits 101 how to react and how to throw the punch instead of going wide instead of keeping in close like you in the you know with the normal you know martial arts punch so we had to learn it was that was that was really hard to learn in the beginning because we're like you know it's against everything you've learned as a martial artist but uh, you know uh, that's what I learned it was it was it was great and uh, what happened was we did about seven to ten different fight scenes and um, Unfortunately, you'll if if you look if you look at the, what was edited in that movie, you'll see me dressed up as three, two or three different people. You see me with a cap on, then you'll see me without the cap, and and I'll be the first guy to get get the arm broken. And then, but you'll but you'll after that happens, you'll see me as the third guy. Now I I think I've got like a stick or a knife, and I'm and I'm coming in at, at Jet again. So it's like yeah, you know, we shot like. 10 different fight scenes. It was that was real interesting. What was different about having the US, you know, US crew on a Hong Kong film was uh, they it was they weren't used to the pace. They weren't used to uh, the uh, you know, the style of shooting. Well, I I, re I realized and it's kind of I've, I've realized that as I've started coordinating that that I've explained to some directors you know if you shoot it like this or you you know we we accent on certain moves that they sometimes they just don't understand because it's not a part of their culture it's not a, something that they grew up with you know as it was with the Asian culture and the opera and you know the folk tales and and and, and stuff like that um, you know, I hope to ch I hope we can change that. I, I, I think it's hap I think it's changing. You know, after the Matrix, you know, people are understanding that there's more to this. And with Jackie and Jet, you know, making making films in the United States, that things are slowly changing. But I don't think uh, it's going to take a little while before, you know, both sides can really understand what each other is doing. One of the most frightening things that ever happened on set was I almost got killed. <laughs> it was my first time, you know, on the set of a Hong Kong movie, and uh, at the end, it was it wasn't a fighting anything fighting. It was it was a car stunt. It was a simple. It wasn't really a car stunt. I was supposed to get in a car, but uh, they forgot to take me along, <laughs> and I almost got killed because uh, I'll explain you what happened. See, at the end, what happened when Jet beats us all up? we all run away into our cars and um, the guy who was driving he, we were driving these muscle cars that were really really loud and the walkie talkies we had in there so the director you know could yell cut or action you couldn't hear it because the engines were so loud and especially when the door was, op was still open and the windows were rolled down all you could hear was the engine you couldn't hear them saying when to cut or whatever so <clears throat> I was I remember I was the last guy to to get beat by Jet. So I think when I remember he he dislocated my arm and you know messed up my leg. So I had to kind of crawl back. So I was the slowest one. I had to be the last one in because I was the last guy beaten up. So what happened was as I get into the car, um, what happens is the the uh, I'm about to get into the car. The door is right. The door is right here. I'm about to get in, and the guy is—he's looking back, not at me, but he's looking at the rear at the rear window, and he's and he starts to back up. So I'm like, oh my god! And there's a guy sitting in the passenger seat. So, and he's freaking out, knowing what's going to happen. He's like, oh my god! And he's looking at me like, oh man, you're going to die. So I'm looking at the door. And I'm running alongside the car as he's gunning it, and and I'm like, oh god, what am I going to do? And I started assessing. I'm like, going, all right, if I dive, if I dive over the the uh, the 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 door, I might get clipped. If I dive under, my head might get clipped. So so I said, okay, I need to make a decision. You know, one or two, or just keep running. So I decided I'm just going to keep running. So that's what I did. And then finally, when they stopped, if you look at this lot, it, there's you know you couldn't go anywhere. It was just a wall. So he stopped, 
I was like, oh God, I, I kind of collapsed. First two people were there were the, was, was Roberta, the producer, and, and Jet. They were like, they, they saw it and they were like, their faces were what, like going, oh my God, are you okay? I'm like going, I guess, <laughs> I guess I'm all right. And, and then, you know, and Joe Eric was back at the camera. He goes, all right, come on, let's do up next shot. <laughs> so, so I had to go back and do the same thing again. I was like, oh, and this time the guy made sure I was in the car. So oh, I, that, was, that was scary. I took away a lot from this film. I learned, I learned so much on this film that, that uh, I'm indebted to, you know, Roberta and, you know, Jet and Joey Hart for, you know, giving me the opportunity to work on this film. Um, I learned a lot from this, and now I'm a stunt coordinator, you know, in, in, in Hollywood, you know, and, and a fight choreographer. And I'm also writing a book on the art of fight choreography. It's going to be the first of its kind, you know, in, in the United States, in, in, in English. So um, I learned a lot. I, you know, I, unfortunately, you know, once you work in Hong Kong, you really, it's, you, you really uh, work on all these American films. It, it doesn't match anymore. It's kind of, the energy's not there. They, they don't understand the emotional content behind each technique. And, uh, and you have to kind of, you know, fudge along and just kind of keep on going with it. You know, so, and I'm hoping this book will change, you know, and, and make, you know, people understand what's involved, you know, in putting together a fight scene. Mm -hmm.